This is Twit. When you think about your dream project, and it doesn't have to be in sci-fi, what what do you want to do? I mean, where do you want to branch out? You you are an incredibly creative person. I've seen you do different characters throughout sci-fi and, and a couple of non-sci-fi projects. What is in the back of your mind and you're thinking, in in five years, in ten years, I want to do that character. I have this idea that I'd like to turn into a movie. Or I'd like to finally convince a studio that they need to throw money at this project. What is that for you? That's interesting. I mean, I... I think I, I just I love the fact that there's a freedom in what I do to pursue whatever I want. Like right now, we've got this documentary we want to do, which is a very, very different, you know, a very different sort of medium for us to work in. But but you know, my wife and I feel like it's an it's an interesting subject and and sort of a worthy subject. We have a child now, and I think that's made a huge difference. I mean, people are so bored of me talking about my, my the bratlet, but but you know, it's it does make a huge difference. Like we finished debug and I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of debug. I think, you know, people will really, will, you know, I, I hope people really like it. It's a, it's a fun sort of roller coaster, but it's violent and it's, and it's, it's pretty grim at times and um, actually at most times. And um, which is why I think it's fun. But now that I have a child, I sort of want to do stuff that has, I lo I'm looking for hope now. Like I'm looking for, I'm looking for something that my son can go, can get excited about. Um, you know, and I've actually I've done a, I've been doing a lot of YouTube stuff recently because I'm just fascinated by his like he doesn't watch television now he watches YouTube that's it he's, he's his entire entertainment is based off that and when you've got kids choosing fr basically free Let's Play videos over two hundred million dollar um, uh, Avengers movies like that's that's an industry that needs to start you know <laughs> needs to start start to becoming aware of what's going on here because. Because we're losing the younger generation of this stuff. I mean, I don't say losing. I don't think there's any. I don't think they're losing anything. I think they're learning just and being entertained in a way that, that we we were as well, but just in a different in a different medium. But I'm just fascinated to see if there's you know if there's something I can be doing there. I love the idea of being able to do everything myself. I, I'm a complete control freak, and I think most sort of creative people, if I can call myself that, is a, is you know they they they. You know, I I'm very envious of someone who can take a blank canvas and paint something, and then wow, they've made they're responsible for everything. Or someone could write a book and say, there you go, that's exactly how I want it to happen. Um, you know, with film, it's a much more collaborative process. And I think part of the art is getting people to work with you and for you and and um, and and sort of it's no it's it's not a singular vision, no matter how I don't think, no matter how focused you are. I think it's 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 very much a collaborative process. You know, I hate the I hate the term a film by you know, one person because it is never done by one person. It's it's always a collection of 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 different people and different doing different things. So, for me, you know, I don't have a specific thing that I've always wanted to do. I mean, I think there's always in the back of my mind is this search for for a Doctor Who like character that I could that I could do. I mean, my dream was always to be Tom Baker. I mean, I wanted to be that guy. I wanted to be that that sort of lonely Time Lord roaming the planet and you know picking up riff raff as they as they go along. I. I would love to find a project that, that does that, um, you know. And I, I love people coming up to me and saying that that you know, Doctor McKay was their other doctor. You know what I mean? That 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 I, in some way, small way, shape, or form, that 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 helped people feel the same way that I did about about Doctor Who. But I think the quest is always, really, is to find that is to find my doctor. You know. I know plenty of people who put Dr. McKay right next to Dr. Who. That's that's a great thing. But I love the fact that you've zeroed in on that whole phenomenon that a guy with a camera and a decent idea and an entertaining personality can attract just as many people as a studio spending $200 million on a film. Or um, more so. I mean, the guys, the YouTube guys I saw talking were saying, someone, you know, one of the guys got up and said, hey, you know, what about quality? I mean, the quality of these things, like, look, it's a, it's a, it's a webcam and a guy. I mean, how... It d doesn't have the same kind of, of, of you know, cinematography, of, of, of cinematographic, uh, cin cinematography appeal of, 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 you know, feature film. And the guy said, well, you want to talk about engagement? Let's talk about engagement as, as, as quality. You know, I have six million people watching. I don't, but this guy had six million viewers watching his YouTube channel. And he said, you know what? So the lighting's not as good as you guys. Y you guys spend $3 million a week trying to get people to watch your television show. I spend like, 30 bucks and I've got 6 million people and I know them all by name and I can comment with them on YouTube. And I have a very, I can, I know all of them basically in some way, shape or form. Um, whereas you, to you guys, it's an audience that you have no connection with. 
Um, and he says, you know, he was saying that the, what's what's what does quality have to do with that? You know, your quality, you, you define quality different than I do. I define quality as engagement. And I had to agree with him. I think he's right. I think, you know, it's I'm not saying that it's instead of film or television. I don't think YouTube will replace television or will, or will replace films. But it's another sort of artistic um, and creative um, it's a distribution channel now and, and form of, 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 of creativity that I don't think a lot of the traditional media guys understand yet.